Welcome to another video from the farm. Today I'm going to show you how to tidy up a living willow fence from something like this to a nice looking twisted rope effect like this. Well, as you can see, I've managed to do it fairly neatly. It's not too difficult. I've left a few stragglers for next year. And I've just been sort of starting on the bottom row like so. Tuck them under, like that, and then move a bit further down, do any more little ones, if they're a bit long like that one, do my third tuck under. Now I've got the trusty shears to cut off any thicker ones, there's not too many on this side. I took a few off this edge, which I've now just put into the earth bank over there with the others. Fingers crossed, that's about another 30 trees planted if they all take, which, as they're willow, they should do. And it's the same process, these ones on the top. Now, as you can see, nice and easy, I'm doing this one-handed. And it just twists on nice, and then, obviously, as you move back, the more you do, thickens up nice, and you end up with a pretty uniform edge so as you can see still pretty thin at the bottom because this is only one year in now well, these bits like this that are a bit thicker or a bit of an angle don't be afraid just to skip one and push it through the one after where you originally wanted to put it because by the time you get some more of these around it it'll tuck in nice it can be pretty brutal with this stuff as well to be honest because it is super flexible especially in winter time like this there's basically a lot of play in it i guess it's a defense mechanism probably from storms and whatnot stops it snapping as easily i guess i'll do a bit of a speed run of this bit now get it all tidied up hey eh? There we have it, all tucked away. Just these last little bits to trim off. And then it's ready to grow in the spring. Alright, so spring has properly sprung just about now. Willows are always one of the first things to come out properly. And now we've finished all the winter storms. We've got a few things that have blown out of place a little bit. So just give it one last little tidy up, one last little trim of the stragglers. And then we'll have a little look at how it is finished up. I'm just quickly going over, tucking these bits. I'm blown out of position. Oh, not that one. Don't stay in. There's quite a few to do, so I'll just speed through this. Maybe a few bits of hessian rope or something might be advisable if you've got strong winds as well. Fortunately, it's a bit protected down here. We don't really have too many storms. We have a couple of big ones in a row, which is why quite a bit of it's, especially at the top, has wiggled free. A couple of hefty long bits like this have managed to escape. Don't know how. It's wrapped around three times and it's pinged loose. Even though this is sprouted now, again, don't be afraid to be a bit aggressive with it or a bit heavy handed. If you snap a bit off, as long as you've got sort of the outer bar connected still, it's usually just going to keep growing. Right, I've tucked in what I want to tuck in. I'm going to start snipping now. 
And again, if you're super keen on growing ridiculous amounts of willow, all these little bits you're snipping off, save them, stick them in a plant pot, and as long as you keep them relatively high humidity when they've already started sprouting around the, the tops like this, you're more than likely going to end up with thousands of trees. Yeah, I've already got what I want in for this year, so I'll just use my cuttings from next year instead. So I'm just sort of focusing on getting a nice crisp top layer now, so we end up with a thick bush growing out the very top and the middle. And I'm trying not to have too much growth around the middle excess because I want this to be relatively thin green compared to the top by the time it's grown in. Alright, we're all trimmed up, looking pretty decent. And hopefully I can keep this going with just letting the top layer keep bushing out and then using my hedge trimmer to trim into a sort of dome top is my plan. But as you can see, the maintenance on this sort of living hedge not too bad, it's only just took me about 20 minutes to do 35, 40 metres of this we've got in. And we've had sort of every single one of these willows take, which is why I chose willow, because they're super easy to root, you can pretty much stick them in the ground anywhere and they'll take. So, yeah, two years in, they're all surviving. Apart from, we have had a little bit animal damage I don't know if you can see there that's rabbits chewing the bark off during the winter period when there's not much nutrients around for them I guess there's more sugars in the bark than there is in grass at that time of year and they've gone pretty ham on this patch here as you can see it's not growing through as well as the bit to the next to it but it is growing so fingers crossed it has survived Okay, the beauty of this, it's an easy fix because next year, in the winter time, I'll just take the cuttings off the top of this that grow throughout this year now and just weave them into the bottom where any need replacing. Obviously as well, I've gone for a fairly simple design really, just weaving two layers in the, the fence here. You can go quite complex, as if, if you have a little look online, people have done some pretty mad shapes. And I think if we have one more year of success out of this, going to be trying to do a pretty decent one of these that looks fairly mad by the cabin so fingers crossed it keeps growing the way it's growing and yes yeah, survives one more year and then definitely going to do a lot more of these right i think i'll wrap this video up in here then if you didn't catch the first video on when i actually put this fence in don't forget to check that out because it's really not too difficult and yeah i hope you've enjoyed seeing how it's coming together like i said i don't think it looks too shabby does it and I can get the whole top a nice thick, thick, sort of rounded edge like this. That'll be ideal. So I'll probably be doing another video on this at some point. But yeah, until next time then, bye-bye.